All right, real quick one here, guys. Um, 97 Chevy Silverado, uh, 57 uh, automatic, 4x4, the K1500. Um, needed to do some wiring on it for a trailer hitch. Uh, surprisingly enough, when I got the truck, it didn't have any kind of connector for a trailer wiring or anything like that that I knew of. Um, I went out and bought this Hopkins kit. Oops, upside down. Uh, the package is actually right. Whoop, there we go. Here we go. Um, either way there that's it uh the part number for it is 41125 um, went out and bought this thing and it just connects right into the wiring loom um, there's a connector at the rear end that um pops open and you just put this in line with it and it gives you a four-way and keeps your original wiring and you don't have to do any splicing or cutting or anything like that uh, bought that thing about a year and a half ago and just now put it on because what happened was I bought that, crawled underneath it, and then found all this extra wiring. And I was like, what's all this extra wiring for? Um, and it was five wires. And so I didn't know what it was at the time. It was the first time I'd ever had a Chevy truck before. So especially that model year. So I did some research on it and actually found out that they came with factory wiring um, for a five pin, not a four pin. Um, so it has actually six, five plus the ground where the four pin um, has the, Oh, before I make an idiot out of myself as I'm digging in the trash. Oh, three and a ground. The other one had it's five, so four and a ground. And I was like, what's this other wire for? So I did some research and actually found that um, it's for reversing. I guess back in the day, they used to have heavy trailers with that you could pull with these half-ton trucks that the brakes would not allow you to roll backwards. Um, unless you had it in reverse. So they had to have an electrical signal to the trailer to tell it that the gear was in reverse so that it would allow you to actually back up. So I found this wiring, actually went online. I think I found it at like eTrailer.com or somewhere weird like that um, and actually got a wiring connector for it. Um, it was just bare wire, so I had to wire it in, solder everything together. Don't use the stupid crimps. Um, unless it's a heat shrink style, those ones are okay, kind of. But especially with the trailer being at the back of the truck, um, underneath the truck, it's going to get corroded and nasty. Do yourself a favor. Go to Harbor Freight or whatever discount tool store. Buy the um, marine grade uh, heat shrink tubing. So it actually has a glue in there that expands and gets soft and actually bonds to everything once you heat it up. Do your solders, do them properly, and then use that heat shrink and it seals it and you won't have any issues with corrosion at that joint. You might have it somewhere else, but not at that joint. Um, so, but anyway, so I did the wiring on that five pin and then I found this four pin again in my garage. So I was like, what the hell, I'll put it on. So now I have a five pin wiring and a four pin wiring. Um, you can use a four pin trailer on a five pin truck. The, the wiring is the same from the ground across. It's just that it has that one extra wire for the reverse signal. So um, I got it installed on the truck today. Um, but if you're looking for that quick connect one, um, I'll put the part number again down in the description and um, you can find it. Um, but uh, that's going to be your quickest and easiest way. Just undo a connector, put it back together with this piece in the middle, and it's a great setup. So, uh... All right, so we're underneath the uh, 97 K1500, and this is what I was talking about here is the wiring harness that was already there built into the truck. Now, there's some extra wiring over here. I'm assuming that's for a heavier-duty trailer brake controller. I don't know. I haven't researched that, but... Um, it's coming out of the tail light harness. Could be for something else, I don't know. But over here I found this wiring that was spliced into the factory tail light wiring that goes across to the other side. Um, like I said, it had five wires. I researched it. It's apparently for a trailer that has brakes on it that um, don't allow for reverse unless it gets a signal to release the brakes. So that's what the fifth wire is for. Um, and then I have it wrapped down. And here's the connector. So you can see it's got the four and then the ground. We'll focus here. There we go. So compared to the new one, it's the three and the ground. So what I was talking about though with that uh, kit that I picked up it, right there, it shows you there. You can see the dirt compared to clean, compared to dirt. It just goes right in between 
your connector there and gives you your wiring that runs down and I've got it wrapped around the tow bar then down here to your wiring so put that in make sure it clicked on both sides um, and then just make sure you're everything works still so but otherwise that's pretty much it got yourself a ground wire you just got to set a, a self-tapping screw that comes in the kit and then I put this uh, corrugated wire guard on here um, and that's about it for that so real simple way to do this trailer wiring if your truck doesn't come with a factory wire in like this here um, real simple kit you can find them at any parts store prices will vary I think mine was like around 30 bucks something like that um, like I said I bought it like two years ago and then this kit for the five pin I found just basically the connector and the pigtails um, and then you just solder it into the factory harness that one I think was like 12 bucks or something plus shipping so so I did the wiring on that five pin and then I found this four pin again in my garage so I was like what the hell I'll put it on so now I have a five pin wiring and a four pin wiring um, you can use a four pin trailer on a five pin truck the, the wiring is the same from the ground across it's just that it has that one extra wire for the reverse signal so um, I got it installed on the truck today um, but if you're looking for that quick connect one um, I'll put the part number again down in the description and um, you can find it um, but uh, that's going to be your quickest and easiest way just undo a connector put it back together with this piece in the middle and it's a great setup so um, then of course check your lights make sure everything's working still you should be good to haul a trailer just don't over tow and don't exceed the limits of your vehicle so hit that like subscribe uh, click the bell all that good stuff and we'll see you next time if you have any comments put them down below and we'll see you next time on flatland jeeper bye